wherever we dig a foundation, an underground parking, a metro line, we have a lot of earthen resources that we right now take and pay for dumping somewhere in a landfill. So instead of doing this, my vision would be, you know, we have regional like earth factories where this material goes in, is kind of you know, rammed into large pieces, blocks of prefabricated rammed earth, for example, that you can staple also in a multi-story way, or it gets transformed into earthen blasters that you could use for renovating existing structures or rammed earth floors and so on. So this is my idea, you know, to have a lot of small earthen factories where all the local excavation materials goes in and gets kind of um, transformed into building materials. And of course it's possible also in towns and it's not only, you know, small rural houses. I mean, in Spain you have the Alhambra that is partly built with rammed earth. You know, it was used in the past for all sorts of purposes and of course in city centers. And what was possible that long ago must be possible today as well, with all the technology, with all the know-how that, know that we have in our hands. It is possible, the limitation is just in our mind and that's what I'm trying to also shake a bit up you know, with this exhibition, to say yes, things are possible, change is possible, and it's on us to do it. So the material is there, what is not there is you know, the information, we need to educate craftspeople, we need to educate architects and engineers and all this, you know, designers that are related to construction. And of course, we also have to reform our rules and regulations. We have to look at all the regulations and look, okay, whom do they make happy? <laughs> whom do they serve? This is this the lobby, certain industries, or really the people, the planet. So we have to really reform this part as well, the policies and everything. And of course, we have to, to change the, the strategy of, of, you know, of of pricing those materials or putting a value to those materials. So of course a, a material that is healthy for the planet, that is healthy for people and the society because it creates jobs, should, you know, should a price that it should not be taxed so high as you know, a material that is, is causing harm. So I'm very much in favor of CO2 taxes and you know, a truthful price in materials that includes all the harms that certain materials are causing to the environment. And I think, you know, if the information is there, if it's affordable, and it should be affordable because the earth is just giving this material for free, <laughs> then I think it's absolutely possible to scale it up. And what we need is also to prove that you can build really beautiful structures with this material. And that's why I think this kind of exhibition is important to show, you know, there is a beauty in the structures and in this material.